I get asked tons of questions when I do site builder training in Drupal. Typically, I have people who are new to Drupal and people who've been around Drupal for a while but want to have a really structured approach to the site building process. So in one of my classes lately, somebody asked about an interesting module I'd never encountered before called Views Conditional. So we're going to take a look at the Views Conditional module today. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. Thanks for joining me today. I'm proudly wearing my Digital Freedom Tour shirt from Acquia. I was a participant in doing some Drupal 10 training for them. It was pretty exciting stuff. Views Conditional is an interesting module. It allows you to create or define conditions in your views and then change the output depending on whether the condition is met or not. So I've come up with a bit of a scenario here, and I think it'll be a helpful example. Let's dive in. Before we do that, this is the Views Conditional page. The link is in the description below, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It is a simple module that allows you to define conditions in Views for fields. Here are the Drupal 8, 9, and 10 conditions. There's a quick little documentation tutorial here as well and a fairly good number of sites use this project. So let me tell you how I used it. All right. In our media course, one of the things we do is add keywords to our media via taxonomy. And then I edited the view to list the keywords here. And this is nothing earth shattering. Here under the fields, I have media keywords. And for multiple field settings, we just display them all in the same row. What I wanted to do is to say that if media keywords don't exist, then instead of having a blank space, have a link to go and update your keywords. Let's take a look at that. And that's what I did down here. Now, I know this is in a separate column. I wanted to keep it separate for the moment. So here are the keywords for this particular video, this particular image, and then the rest of them don't have keywords. This link, just a quick shortcut, straight over to the edit screen for that individual media. It's really no different than actually clicking on the link in the media manager to edit the media, but at least this way, people are getting an indicator that they need to update the keywords for that media. All right, let's take a look and see how I did it. First, I included the field media ID, needed that field in order to get the token. I just hid the field, so of course the ID is available, but not being displayed in the view. In the views conditional field then, here's what I said. If keywords is empty, then output ahref media media ID slash edit, which is of course the edit link, and then update keywords. Down at the bottom here, you can always get a set of the replacement variables you're able to use within any condition. That's pretty cool. The else condition, if the keywords are not empty, well then just list the keywords, which is of course field media keywords. So having done that, I could then easily just remove this keywords column. Let's do that. I'm just going to hide it, of course, because we'll still need that token later on. And now I have a reminder to update the keywords for these media items where keywords are missing. All right, so there's literally just tons of things you could do with the views conditional module. It's really fun to use. The fact that it can use tokens as replacement values is huge. And of course, as you saw, you may just have to hide a couple of fields in order to get those tokens and make them available for your view. Well, I hope that's been helpful. A lot of people seem to use this module and certainly the student in my class wanted to know a little bit more. So hopefully you know a little bit more now than you did a few moments ago. Thanks for joining me today. My name's Rod Martin. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. We'll see you next time.